What's going on guys, Saver Sauce here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an Instagram bot that can generate quotes based on a topic. First of all, I wanna thank the support I've been getting over the past couple of months. My goal this year is to get a thousand subscribers, so if anyone's not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the button. And yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, I'm gonna show you what we're building. So I'm just gonna type in, this is my, my file. By the way, if you guys want access to all of the code for this tutorial, I have it on my GitHub and I'll link it in the description. So I'm just gonna type in Python, instacalming, which is the name of the bot, .py, and that will do it. So, the first thing it does is it picks a random quote from a list of quotes and it uses that to generate a quote with a large language model. Then after it's generated the quote with the large language model, it reuses the large language model to generate a prompt for an image generator. Then once it's gotten an image from the image generator, it combines the quote and the image together, creating the image for the quote. So now if we go here, you can see this is the image it generated, and this is the quote. Access to these, or you could just, um, you could always just copy them. You know, you see them in the video, just pause and copy them. Here's the upload utils. We're not going to be using this. I should warn you before I get into this that if you use this on your main account on Instagram, there is a very high likelihood that Instagram will ban your account because it goes against their terms of service. This is more of just a demo of what you could do with AI. I'm not really telling you you should do this. So now I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to call it Instagram bot.py. And now we're just gonna start by importing our dependencies. So first we're gonna import Torch. And by the way, uh, the requirements will be in the requirements.txt file on my GitHub. So you can just type in pip install dash r requirements.txt after cloning the GitHub repo. And that'll get you all the things you need. Now from AI utils import diffusion pipeline which is our text image and then text generator, which is our text generator. Now we're gonna do from wand.image import image from wand.drawing import drawing and from wand.font import font. Now, these are going to be used to draw out the quote onto the image later once we've got the quote and the image generated. You'll see what I mean whenever we get there. Then we're going to import random. Oh, import random. And then we're going to import CSV. Then we're going to import JSON. All right, now I'm going to comment out. So this is going to be the text generation. So we're going to start by making the text generator. So text generator is equal to text generator. And you could pass the model that you want to use into this um, class, but I'm just going to use the, the default. If you can't load this for some reason, you could decrease on the model file here. You could always decrease the size. I'm using Q8, which is the highest, has the most data. You could go down as far as you need, depending on what resources you have at home. Now I'm gonna make the CSV file path and I have it equal to topics.csv. And we're going to start by saying the topic are equal to none. Now we're going to open it. So with open CSV file path, and then we're going to read it. 
and the new line is equal to that as CSV file. The reader will be equal to CSV.reader. And we're reading the CSV file. Topics will be equal to next on the reader. So that's going to unpack all of the topics into our CSV reader. Now we need to access a random topic from our list. So random topic will be equal to topics random dot randint between zero and the length of topics minus one because it starts at zero. And then we're going to strip the leading spaces using dot L strip like that. And we're going to print out what our topic, what topic we made. So N topics. And that will be equal. Oh, hold on. That will be equal to the length of topics. And then we're going to print what topic we're using. So using topic like this, a random topic. Now we're going to generate a quote with the topic that was randomly picked. So prompt text will be Oh, and this is very important. So you guys need to follow this because you want it to generate a quote that's not too long or else it'll not work well. So you are a quote generator, which generates one short quote based on the prompt. Oh, and this is very important. So you guys need to follow this because you want it to generate a quote that's not too long or else it'll not work well. So you are a quote generator, which generates one short quote based on the prompt I provide. Make sure to only generate one quote. Generate a quote about, and then we're going to insert our random topic like that. Oh, this needs to be a, fo a formatted string, so put F there. And there we go. So, our quote text is going to be text generator dot generate text. And we're going to put in our prompt text zero. And our max new tokens, this is important, set it to 256. <coughs> The reason we're doing this is because we don't want the quote to overflow. So we need to make sure that that quote doesn't get too long. And now we're going to print out our generated quote like this. So generated quote is equal to quote text. And after we use this model, we need to make sure that our GPU memory gets reset. That way we don't run into any out of memory errors. So make sure you type torch.cuda.emptycache afterwards. So next we're going to generate a prompt for the SDXL stable diffusion XL model to produce a background image. Again, if this model is too large for your system, just downsize the model. It doesn't matter which model you pick as long as it's a text to image model. 
So we're going to reuse this prompt text zero, and we're just going to overwrite what our previous prompt was. So make sure you put the F at the beginning to make it a formatted string like that. And the quote will, or the prompt will be you are generating one sentence describing image that matches the following quote. And then we're going to insert our quote text like that. All right. So now we're going to Yeah, so our prompt text will be this. Um, text generator. So we're using the large language model again, dot generate text. And then we're gonna reuse prompt text zero. And the max new tokens this time is going to be 70. So equal to 70. Now we're making it set equal to 70 this time because the clip, which is what the text to image model uses to isolate or to convert their the text into a readable format has a lower uh, token length. So we need to make sure that we don't hit the token limit because that could mess up the image. So now we're going to print using prompt And make sure to input the prompt text. Like that. Now we're going to use torch.cuda.emptycatch because we used our neural network again and we need to remove it from memory. All right, so now we're going to run the prompt through the text image model. Okay, so next up, we're going to make text to image, and we set this equal to the diffusion pipeline, like this, and then the model base is going to be equal to uh, stability AI slash stable diffusion XL slash base dash 1.0 model type model repo is going to be equal to byte dance slash XD XL lightning we're using this one because it's faster and we want our model, we want our, our code in general to run relatively quickly. So the model checkpoint we're going to use is the XDXL lightning eight step, which is the largest out of all of them. Unit dot safe tensors. If this is too large for your um, hardware, you can always revert. There's also a four step. I think there's also a two step, just depending on what you need. The eight step is larger, the four step is smaller, and the two step is even smaller than the four step. Text to image dot generate image prompt text. And then our number of inference steps will be equal to eight, which is because we're using that eight step. If you switch to a four step, the number of inference steps needs to be four. And if you're using a two step, the number of inference steps needs to be two. So the guidance scale will be equal to 0 0.1. You could change that if you want, just to see how it changes things. Output path is going to be equal to 
image output dot png and then we're going to print out that the image was saved so print image was saved oh, image was saved now we're going to load it so we're going to i'm typing out in the comment load the image add the caption and save as new image now this is where wand is going to come in it's an image manipulation python package you i believe you need to have wand installed so uh you just google wand install and it'll come up so we're going to type in with image and then our file name is equal to image output dot png that's our canvas so as canvas and then withdrawing as context left top width height are going to equal 45 45 and then 820 and 600 I just came up with these numbers by tampering with the, the box that we're going to draw. You could always change these around if you need. So now we're going to type in context dot fill color. And that'll be equal to RGBA. And then we're going to do zero, zero, zero. So black. And then we're going to type in 0 0.5 as the opacity. You could also lower it or increase it depending on what you think you need, but I found 0 0.5 to be the best. And then context.rectangle will be equal to or no, left is equal to left, top is equal to top, width is equal to width, equal to width, and then height is equal to height, like this. And make sure the radius is set to 20. So for our font, we're going to be using the font that we imported earlier. So font is equal to font. And you may just have to tamper and see what fonts you have on your system. But this is what worked for me. So slash windows slash font slash era d h i t c dot t t f so true type font and then our color is going to be equal to white and the size will be equal to 50 like that so now we're going to set the context as the canvas and then we're going to type in canvas dot caption quote text font will be equal to font the width is going to be equal to 800 that way we have some space on either side of the rectangle left will be equal to 50 top will be equal to 50. so now we're going to go back one indentation and type canvas dot save and then our file name will be equal to uh, I put instacombing output dot jpeg, but you could actually put whatever you want for that. So that's the end of the bot. I'm going to show you how this runs first. So type in Python Instagram bot dot pi. And let's see if it works. So it'll take a second to load all the the models. You can see that it's it's typing out the number of topics using topic simplicity. Now it's generating the quote, generated the quote. Now it's generating the prompt quote. You have to give it a second. All right, so you can see it's generated the prompt text. Now it's going to load the uh, stable diffusion model. I found this project to be very fun and it's 
essentially very useful for a por portfolio because you're using a bunch of different, oh, we got an error. I typed something wrong. Uh, line 39, you can see that I put out path path. This should be output path. So now is it output path? Make sure to save it, control S. Then Python, Instagram, bot.py. Now we're gonna redo the whole thing. You can see that I don't actually have to empty the cache after using the stable diffusion model. And the reason for that is because once the Python kernel closes after the, after the script finishes running, it uh, empties the GPU memory. But because we're running these before, we're running multiple different models at once, we have to empty the cache every time since the kernel is not actually closing. So you can see we've generated the quote, generated the prompt. Now we're going to generate the image. And so the font looks different here. Not necessarily a bad thing. Brad H. Brad H I T C. So I had this as Brad Brad H H. There should be a Brad H I T C. So now let's rerun it and see what it looks like. All right, let's see what it made. All right, so yeah, that's the correct font. We've got a nice image. So now that's about it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. My goal is a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, yeah, that's it. See ya.